The new discovered formula for negative factorial is plus or minus infinity by n minus 1 factorial. So in this video we will see the overview how it is proven and then we will compare its result with gamma function to see if both results are matching or not. Negative factorial formula is discovered using three steps. At first, the pattern is followed using existing factorial formula in universal number to wave. Example, if we substitute n is equal to 0 in this formula, then we get negative 1 factorial as 1 by 0. In other words, infinity. Similarly, for n is equal to minus 1, we get negative 2 factorial as infinity by minus 1. And for n is equal to minus 2, we get this solution. And for other increments, we get the same pattern. So the formula is generalized as plus or minus infinity by n minus 1 factorial. But why there is plus or minus sign? Actually, the signs will alternate from positive to negative and vice versa for every increment of n. So it can be expressed as this principal solution. But the way any root, example root 16 have plus or minus as the correct natural solution, the sign of 0 and infinity can be both positive or negative as a correct natural solution. And here we just have to remember one property that is sign will alternate for every increment of n. In second step, the RHS is equal to LHS of this equation is proven with help of mathematical induction. But we won't solve it here. However, proof is available in research paper on universal number given in the description along with its page number. Now the most interesting part is third step that is additional validation step. Here we will compare output result of gamma function with newly derived formula. To compare, let's create table n factorial versus gamma function. Since the relation already exists between this, we will create data against this relation only. So minus 1 factorial is gamma 0 as per the relation. Negative 2 factorial is equal to negative 1 gamma. And similarly, few more points. Since we have to use calculator, we will replace value of infinity as very large value. And we will do such three iterations. So when infinity value is 10 to the power 5, we get the following results. So here values are nearly same. And the value of infinity is 10 to the power 6 for this next iteration. To calculate this, I have used Wolfram. In one tap, I have factorial function, infinity by n minus 1. And in another tap, I have gamma function, integral 0 to infinity, x to the power n minus 1, e to the power minus x dx. So negative 1 factorial is 1 million. In gamma function, n is equal to 0. But the solution does not converge due to the value of n. So we will add small negligible impurity to n value, that is 1 by infinity. For calculation purpose, it will be 1 by 10 to the power 6. So note that there is a chance of very negligible deviation result from actual result. So here also the solution is 1 million. Now we will see for minus 2 factorial. Both gives 1 million as a solution. So that's being added here. Now minus 3 factorial is 500,000. But remember that negative sign will be also part of solution due to alternating sign property. And gamma function is also 500,000. 4 factorial is 166666.6 And gamma 3 is also 166666.6 now directly we will check for negative 10 factorial so 10 factorial is 2.7557 now for next iteration infinity is 10 to the power 7 so let's skip for few but let's check for 5 factorial so the solution is 416666 For gamma function is also same. If you'll click more digit, this is actually round off value. For 6 factorial, it is 8333. Three, three. And gamma function is also same. 
for 10 factorial both yield same solution. You would have checked more higher values, but there are some calculation limits for higher values. Let's check for different infinite value if it affects the result. So for this, solution is 1071.4285 and further this is repeating. And here also it is same and significantly accurate. Since the solution for both are completely matching, hence we prove that the algebraic formula of negative factorial is discovered as gamma function is the only function used to prove solution of half factorial and note that the domain is universal numbers. And as an additional perks, this relation in mathematics is established.